It's a crucial day for Pakistan. A special group of the Financial Action Task Force is meeting to review Islamabad's progress on curbing terror. And the opposition in Pakistan has been granted permission to hold anti-government rallies. In the next three minutes, we'll try to understand the significance of these developments, starting with the FATF meeting, a two-day session of the Terror Funding Watchdogs International Cooperation Review Group. The ICRG is currently underway. This body reports to the FATF's Asia-Pacific Group. Its members include China, the United States, the UK, France, Germany, New Zealand and India. Now, these seven countries will evaluate Pakistan's answers to a 150-point questionnaire. The meeting is very important. The outcome will determine Pakistan's fate at the upcoming FATF plenary session. It begins on the 21st of October. Remember, Pakistan is currently on the FATF grey list. And it now faces the risk of being blacklisted. It should have been by now, but it is, has been saved by its friends. Now to the second development. And this one is equally big. Imran Khan has buckled under pressure and allowed the Pakistan Democratic Movement, an alliance of 11 opposition parties, to hold anti-government protests across Pakistan. The first one will be held in Gujranwala on the 16th of October. This will be followed by a rally in Karachi on the 18th, another one in Quetta on the 25th of October, Peshawar on the 22nd of November, Multan 30th of November and then a rally in Lahore on the 13th of December. Up until now, the Pakistan government had been trying to block these rallies from taking place, citing security reasons and coronavirus restrictions. The opposition says it never required any official permission, that it would have held the demonstrations anyway. Imran Khan's stamp of approval was by all means unsolicited. But he gave one nonetheless. The Pakistani Prime Minister says he wants the public to judge how strong the opposition really is. And he is calling opposition parties a gang of dacoits out to hide their corruption. His own government's efforts to hide their crimes from the FATF notwithstanding. Reports say Pakistan has hired a top lobbying firm to secure an American bailout from the FATF grey list. The Pakistan Foreign Ministry is said to have hired the services of the Houston-based lobbying firm Linden Strategies to push its case with the Trump administration. What does Pakistan plan on achieving by doing this besides a bailout? According to the Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, this will lead to an FATF white listing. You heard that right. Let's take a look at the headlines. Forget grey and black lists. Mr. Qureshi is hopeful that Pakistan will soon be on the FATF white list. A list that does not even exist. But if Mr. Qureshi says so, the FATF better create such a list. A white list of crimes that the Imran Khan government has whitewashed over the years. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.